Welcome to Starbase, Texas, Elon Musk's newly incorporated city and the epicenter of SpaceX's ambitious journey to the stars. Nestled near Boca Chica, this once quiet coastal area has transformed into a bustling hub of innovation and controversy. Today we delve into why Musk chose to create Starbase, what it means for the future of space exploration, and the implications for the local community. In March 2021, Elon Musk announced plans to establish a city called Starbase around SpaceX's launch site in South Texas. Fast forward to May 3rd, 2025, and that vision became a reality. In a local vote, 212 out of 218 residents approved the incorporation of Starbase base as an official city. The area, previously known as Boca Chica Village, now boasts a population of approximately 500, with many residents being SpaceX employees or their families. But why did Musk push for incorporation? The move allows SpaceX to have greater control over the area, enabling the company to manage infrastructure services like roads, utilities, and emergency services functions it largely provided already. Incorporation also grants the city authority to collect taxes, issue municipal bonds, enact ordinances, and use eminent domain. Essentially, it streamlines operations for SpaceX and facilitates the expansion of its workforce and amenities. With SpaceX owning most of the land and residential lots in Starbase and company employees elected to key city positions, Critics argue that Starbase functions as a modern-day company town. This concentration of control raises concerns about democratic governance and potential conflicts of interest. The rapid development of Starbase hasn't been without controversy. Environmental groups and local residents have expressed concerns over the impact of frequent rocket launches on the local ecosystem, including threats to protected species and pollution from launch activities. Additionally, the incorporation could grant the city authority to regulate access to nearby public beaches, sparking debates over public versus private interests. Despite the controversies, Starbase represents a significant step in Musk's vision for space exploration. The city serves as the headquarters for SpaceX's Starship program, which aims to facilitate missions to the Moon and Mars. The Federal Aviation Administration recently approved an increase in the number of Starship launches from Starbase, allowing up to 25 per year. This expansion positions Starbase as a central hub in the quest to make humanity a multi-planetary species. Starbase stands as a testament to Elon Musk's ambitious vision, blending private enterprise with municipal governance in an unprecedented way. As SpaceX continues to push the boundaries of space travel, Starbase will undoubtedly play a pivotal role. However, the city's unique structure also prompts important questions about corporate influence, environmental stewardship, and community rights. Only time will tell how this bold experiment will unfold. Thanks for watching. If you found this video insightful, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more content on space exploration and technological innovation. Share your thoughts on Starbase in the comments below. What do you think about this new city and its implications for the future? Warning, this script was written by AI. Although this is my voice, but I did ask ChatGPT to write this script because I'm doing an experiment. So, all right, cut. Okay, so not bad, not bad. I gave it a very generic prompt. I said, write a 10 minute YouTube script about Elon Musk's new city called Starbase in South Texas. Tell me why he chose to incorporate it and what it means for the future. So this was just kind of a fun way to get some recent news out. I also just wanted to see what you guys think of chat GPT's writing skills. I have to say, um, after many years of being a TV news anchor, I do love reading from a script and just focusing on like my voice and my delivery. I have to say that when I make my normal YouTube videos, I rarely have a script. So that can be a little bit overwhelming and maybe something I need to work on. But you know, it's like when I'm trying to get things out and it's breaking news, I just have to sort of improvise and, um, you know, have some details, but basically get things out there and not have a very polished script to do it with. So I'm pretty good at improvising, I'd say. So this was fun to read, although I feel like it lacked my personality 
Um, sometimes I try to at least, you know, insert my opinions or a little bit of humor. And obviously this did not have that. So let me know what you guys think about it. And of course, do tell me what you think about Starbase. I really wonder who are the six people that voted against it. And I'm wondering also if their reasons were they just didn't maybe want to pay more taxes. I will say a documentary was just released on X by a more perfect union, and it's certainly a SpaceX hit piece. I mean, it already has 235,000 views. I watched the entire thing. Very well done. We're a disadvantaged community that's being exploited by a billionaire for his experimental space fantasy. I mean, very well put together. But uh, it's almost like they didn't really hardly interview anyone who's even a fan of SpaceX or, or what they're doing down there. So uh, a little bit biased, very well edited, well shot. But now I don't live down there. A lot of people think that I do. I actually live in Austin, so about six hours north of Starbase. But, you know, I, I am not a local, but I really think that what SpaceX is doing will benefit all of us. And if you watch my channel, most of you guys agree. But anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this video. For real, I'm out this time. And um, let me know if you think I should keep using AI to uh, assist my script writing.